What's up, everybody? We got your four-year CyberPower PC review. She's been a good little PC. Let me show you the upgrades that I've done for her. Gutted like a fish. As you can see, there is nothing left of the old CyberPower PC. I took her heart her brain, her lungs, I took everything. I took it all and I've transformed it. I've transferred it, I should say. Yeah. I've transformed. I've transferred it. I've given it a new body and a new soul. <laughs> Bear witness to the new. Look at these reflections we got going on. See What's up, Blondie? Behold. The new build. Got some Corsair, 120 millimeters up there. Got the Corsair H60, water-cooled. GTX 1070, the barbecue. Everything that was in, well, you know what, that's not true. I upgraded the motherboard, the processor, the heatsink. I upgraded the 1070 like three months ago, never made a video about it. The power supply, you know I transferred that. All that's left of the CyberPower PC is a one terabyte Western Digital Drive. And yes, I'm going to add some SSDs, okay? Relax. What I got going on here is I got a uh, I got two hundred and forty millimeter fans, so the air is coming in here. We're sucking the cold air in here, or the intake. Boom, going in, cooling the processor, and then I got two exhaust fans at the top. I understand that that's a bit unorthodox, but that's just the way I did it. The H sixty tutorial had it coming, had the air coming in, not out, and it was a manufacturer video. That's why I did it that way. Now, I did all this myself. I put it all in myself. And you know what? It wasn't that bad. I want to give a huge shout out to Blacktooth Grin. The dude is awesome. Anytime I had a question, anytime I had a problem, he was right there helping me out. Blacktooth, you are the freaking man. But you can see, it looks pretty, huh? How's that? That's nice. How's that, uh... Wire management. When I got the CyberPower PC, the wire management was atrocious. I feel like this is 20 times better. And this is the first time I've ever put together a PC. Ever. Okay. You see inside there? Let's get... This looks a little yeah, it looks a little crooked. I got an i5-4690K processor, okay? We got 8 gigs of RAM. I forget what kind of RAM it is. Um, a data. What is it? What what is the uh A data? A data. It's not the sixteen hundred though. It was twenty one thirty three. Twenty one thirty three. We got the graphics card. It is a super clocked EVGA nine seventy. We got our standard eight hundred watt six or six hundred six hundred watt. I ordered eight hundred. I've been robbed. I use the standard. Let me get that Ryzen. 2700X box, please. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, motherboard X470 Gaming Pro yes. Carbon. Right here. Yes. Yeah, like you know what a processor uh, yeah. is. I got the Ryzen 2700X. I got the uh, heat sink that came with it in here. I wasn't happy with the temps, man. I was running 45 degrees idle. I set a custom cam, uh, fan curve and everything. Much, much cooler with this. We idle at about 35. We run games at about 43, 44 degrees, the CPU temps. The uh, GPU stays at about 50. Real, real nice. Real happy with this build. I got 16 gigabytes Corsair Vengeance. RAM, 3200 megahertz. We're sitting pretty, man. I think I'm gonna upgrade and get another two sticks, 16 gigabytes for a total of 32 gigabytes of RAM is what I think I'm gonna do. So we'll be set there. But I. I'll eventually get the 20, the 2070 RTX card. But right now, I'm, I'm enjoying 1080p60. That's originally what the plan was, 1080p60, and that's what we're rocking out right now. 
I like it. I like it. I'm real impressed with it. Oh, yeah, the case. What is the case? I forget what the case is. The case is a monster. Look at this thing. It's huge. It is absolutely huge. Stuck my little Ryzen sticker on there. This thing is a multitasker, man. Multitask like a beast. Looks real, real nice. I like it. I like it a lot. I told you I was going to have you film, and I'm filming it all. Yeah, I, I got a dust filter for the back because we're sucking air in. Magnetic just sticks right on. Awesome. Courtesy of Black Tooth, my man, gave me the recommendation. He helped so much with this, man. Helped so much. I can't even... All you need to put together a PC is a guy that knows what he's doing. I've never seen so many... I've called computer people around here. I've called their little shops. It's like, they are the most... I don't know how they're in business. They don't want nothing to do with putting together PCs. It's crazy. You know? It's, as soon as they know that you know what you're talking about, they don't want to fuck with your shit. Pardon my language. Why did I just curse like that? But anyways, there's the build. I'm, I'm satisfied with it. It's running real, real nice. It's running real quiet. As a matter of fact, let me show you what she looks like when she's on. Ah, you impressed? Oh, this all rev doesn't know nothing about PCs. Yeah, I'm only building my own shit. It just reminded me of, uh, but I caught it. <laughs> okay, she's all hooked up. Oh my god. Every time. Every time. Okay. Let there be light. Big tower. Big tower, but she looks real, real nice. Show you what she looks like inside. It's like Christmas time. Now there's an RGB setup for these fans, these 120 millimeter fans I put at the top, but I didn't get it in the package. I bought those two fans separately. But uh yeah. You see. I like it, man. It's been running real, real good. I've been playing the Division 2. The performance. Oh, my God. The performance is so good. I've been playing on a keyboard and mouse, too. I also got this Corsair, uh, like, Dark Core. It's nice. I got this mouse pad. It's been playing real, real nice. I like it. I like it. Got my 144 hertz 1080p monitor. Don't care. I don't care. I don't need 1440p or 4K now, right now. At 1080p, 100, 120 FPS in the Division 2. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's like butter. It's like butter. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with these anymore. But, you know. Alright, that's all I got for you. I'll holler at you later.